Hello internet, it is I, Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today we're going to be talking about the long game. So as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons, so let's get to it. Pros, uh, shoot. I don't... Jay Hernandez... Oh, it's the guy from the original Suicide Squad movie, a Diablo. Yeah, I remember him. <laughs> um, not much else there, really. <laughs> um, I don't think he's like the main star. I don't think he is. Who's the main? Yeah, Jay Hernandez. Okay, he is a main star. So I guess like. I wouldn't say he's like super duper recognizable. I wouldn't say so. He has been in a movie like for Jesus five years. God damn. <laughs> um, most of this stuff here is obviously like, you know, supporting role type stuff. So, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't call him like a draw. I guess Dennis Quaid, I guess comparatively, is bigger. He's been in a lot more movies. Some big movies, too. I might as well go over that. I mean, like, nothing really of note until, like, I don't even know. The Parent Trap, which, you know, starred, like, a young, uh, really young uh, Lindsay Lohan. There's that. Any Given Sunday, there's that, too. Traffic with the Rookie. The Day After Tomorrow. Uh, it's yours, mine, and ours. That's a childhood movie of mine, even though I know damn well that movie's no good. <laughs> but because it's a childhood movie, I'm like, I have a little bit of bias towards it. <laughs> um, Vantage Point, G.I. Joe, Rise of the Coat. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that, that. Mm, just getting flashbacks. Legion. A movie I've never really seen besides the one clip where the old lady is like a demon and she just, she, she was wild and <laughs> she said some shit that was just, it was pure shock value, but it was hilarious. And then she got hit with a frying pan, it was absolute gold. If only the rest of the movie lived up to that from what I hear, it doesn't live up to that and that's, that's a shame. <laughs> um... See this, see Soul Surfer, Footloose, the Footloose remake. What to expect when you're expecting a dog's purpose? Midway, American Under, no one gave a damn about that. Yeah, Dennis Quaid, he's been in some successful movies, but most of them haven't been that successful. So he's still the most recognizable face here, so I mean, there's that, I guess. And Cheech Martin. I think he's like, he's one half of a duo. Uh, I don't think the other guy's name, Cheech and Chong. Like, I don't know who the Chong guy is. I'm not sure. Uh, I think it was an. Okay, so apparently they were like a duo for a long time. For like the early 80s. They were in Ghost, Ghostbusters 2. Okay. <laughs> and The Lion King. Really? But they voiced in The Lion King? I did not know that. In Spy Kids. Spy Kids. Spy Kids 3. The, who the hell is Felix Gump? Who is that? <laughs> I have no idea who that is. No clue. Um, and there's Grindhouse. And like, like I'm I'm struggling to figure out like what this guy looks like. I really am I'm trying to visualize it in my head, and it's just not clicking. Was it, like I don't even know. Was it like the main kid's like grandfather? Maybe I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, it's, it wasn't somebody else. I honestly can't figure out what this dude looks like, but I, I guess it's this guy. 
one of the, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really care. Well, it's definitely not considering his age. Does not the seventy-seven year old? <laughs> um, no, I don't think it matters that much. But yeah, the cast. I wouldn't really call any of them like draws at all. But I guess they're recognizable, ish. So I guess I'm gonna label that as a pro. And I guess another pro is that reviews are very good. I guess a 78% critic score, 100% audience score. I can't call either of those bad things. So that's a pro. And that's it. Okay, cons. Marketing. Where? (laughs) Where? Where is it? Nowhere to be seen. (laughs) It literally popped on the schedule. Apparently it did, but... it wasn't a wide release until like literally yesterday when I saw it pop up there when I found out via YouTube comment and I was just like, God damn it. <laughs> I got to talk about this movie too. Awesome. So yeah, severe lack of market, severe lack of marketing and publicity. I got labeled as a con. Another con is that too many movies out. Right now, two of the movies are going to be coming out later. It's just too much. This movie is destined to get drowned out. And that's a problem. So that's a con. And I think that's really it. I guess I can mention you know, golf. I'm pre- Golf is not a popular <laughs> um, sport. I mean, it, it is. But when it comes to like the movie world, nope. <laughs> not at all. Like, it's just not, well, it's just kind of a boring sport. (laughs) Like, I literally just did, like, at my job, like, we did, like, a little mini golf thing to get, like, points. It was was a little game. And it's, it's not very exciting. You just, like, grab a golf club and you just hit the ball and hope it goes into the hole. That's it. (laughs) It's not that deep. It's not very exciting. And you know, not to brag, but I, I had I did like three hole in ones in a row without even trying that hard. Literally, I just I kind of just hit it, like just enough to where it won't like fly away, but not so light that it goes nowhere. And I got it in the hole every single time. I barely tried. So okay, just just wanted to flex a little bit. Because that really happened. <laughs> Benny who Yeah, golf. Not a popular subject on the big screen. The only ones that people actually remember are Happy Gilmore and Caddyshack. That's it. Every other one. With what? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. The subject of golf. That's a con. Definitely. And yeah, I think that's it. So opening weekend, um, 500k to a million, I guess. I think this is only opening in like a 900 or so theater. I don't know. I'm going to check to make sure theater counts. It's not even on there. So I don't even have a number. Great. So I'm going to guess it's like Probably in the triple digits. In that case, 500k to a million. I wouldn't be surprised if it was less. Final total of less than 2 million. And then that's it. Okay, two more. We're almost done. We got the Shrek 2 re-release, which I actually want to talk about. And Sting. And then we're done. We're done with the weekend. So you know, stay tuned for those videos. But... Yeah, that's it. That's all. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, uh, share the whole drill. If you want to check out more videos like this, I got a playlist on the homepage, all previous uh, prediction videos I made this year, any of the past years I've been doing this. You can go right ahead. You want to you know, watch them. There's also the Cancelled series where I go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. Um, I never talked about the long game once. Yep. Never. So, yeah, but I've made 242 episodes of Cancelled. So, if you want to watch any of those episodes, you want to binge them all from beginning to now, I highly encourage you to do that. So, go do it. 
There's also box office recaps where I go over the box office results by a particular month. Um, my March recap, that's on the channel now. My April recap won't be until early May, between the 3rd and the 10th of May, so stay tuned for that. But if you want to watch any of the past recap videos on me on the channel, you can go right ahead. And yeah, that's it. That's all. I am out. Goodbye.